Hi, Shannon Grimm with Shannon Grimm and Partners at Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. Today, uh, Jennifer Scott and Mike Stanley and I are here with Chris Hess from Black Tie Moving and Storage. And uh, just wanted to bring Chris on because I know it's an interesting history of how he came to be at Black Tie. And uh, Chris is a great guy, supports us at a lot of events and stuff. And we're going to be having a couple events come up at uh, Villas at Old Harbor, and he'll be there with us as well. So want to just tell us how you got started? Well, I've been in the moving industry for uh, maybe 28 years. So I was with a different company here in town, helped grow them from two trucks to five locations. I wasn't looking to leave, but my best friend from high school happens to be the lead singer from Rascal Flats. Which is pretty cool. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was moved by Black Tie in Nashville about six years ago. I had such a great experience. Met the owner, became friends with him. The company was up and growing. We made Inc. 500. It's one of the fastest growing companies in America. And reached out to me and he said, hey, I'd love to bring this type of service back to our home state here in Ohio. So offered me some ownership and to run it. So we off and going. And been in business about five and a half years. We've done over 10,000 moves. Wow. So we did. We had a, our three to five year business plan was to run three to four trucks in Columbus, one in Cleveland, one in Cincy. Mm -hmm. Within our first five years, the f we started in September. By the next summer, I was running eight, 10, 12 trucks here in Columbus. Wow. So we kind of blew it out of the water. So one of the <coughs> questions we always get asked is, uh, so like in all your advertisements, your movers are very hunky. Yes. Do they all look that way in real life? Well, <laughs> if you close your eyes and it's green that way, maybe. But the funny thing is, out of those five that are on the back of the truck, two of them were movers for us. Okay. One of them was an actor, and we picked up the other two just from their friends. Okay. So, but yeah, we that's do, pretty A couple funny. of those guys were actually movers for us. At okay. One point, so. That's funny. Yeah. All right. And well, are you are you looking to hire anybody? <laughs> <laughs> always, always. <laughs> So will you do a cross country also? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, about how many moves are you doing a month? Uh, it varies from, from one month to the other. Uh, summertime obviously is a lot busier. May, June, July, we're doing you know two, 300 moves or more. Okay. So wow. Slow time, I think we did 110, 115 in January. Wow. Just a couple less in February this year. So. so how much notice would someone need? So one of the biggest problems we run into is that people will schedule movers for the day of closing, which is the worst thing you can possibly do since nine out of 10 do not close on time. So how much lead time do you need to get an appointment? Oh, this time of year, the first couple months is usually a couple days to a week, which okay. I wouldn't recommend waiting that long, no. but they can possibly call up to today and get moved tomorrow. Through the summer, I highly recommend at least two or three weeks. So. Okay. That's better than some places I've yeah. heard of. Yeah. End of the month gets busier. I would recommend a little bit more, but we can usually try to squeeze in. We try not to turn work down. Okay. Yeah, I know uh, I called you because someone told me that they kind of had like an emergency, mm -hmm. which they ended up not yeah. having because their event got canceled. But you said you would go out the next day. Mm -hmm. So I was pretty impressed by that, too. We do a lot of what we call same days, which is kind of shocking to me. Is someone really calls up and they realize, hey, you know what? I need to move today and I haven't called anybody. <laughs> So, I mean, it ha it's crazy. We track it. I don't it, understand. And it's like, through the summertime, we're getting three to five of those a week getting requests. Wow. Not just for one or two pieces, for the whole house. The whole house. Wow. So. Yeah, that's kind of <clears throat> crazy. So, what things do you, like, so, you know, do you mm -hmm. move pianos? Do you do that mm -hmm. kind of stuff? Yeah. Or move we can anything? Help. <clears throat> we can help with almost anything. If it's something that we can't, we've got a third party or someone I can recommend. Okay. So safes are one of them that's a specialty that we can move up to a certain weight. Anything over five, 600 pounds, we try to stay clear of, especially if it's going to a basement with finished wood stairs. Oh, yeah. Third party service I've got that, that we recommend for that's great. He's got a uh, stair walker to take them down. So pianos we move all day long. Uh, we can move baby grands and grands. One of the things we do recommend though is if they play them and they need them tuned, you might as well hire a piano mover. We yeah. can still help you, but if you're gonna have to have hire someone move it and tune it, Sometimes it's cheaper to, to just hire the piano and write straight up for it. So, mm -hmm. But not very many people play it. Yeah, not on a it's just a, it's a decoration. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would say, yeah, we have one and it gets played uh, maybe two weeks out of the year. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have those as decoration and still have to move them everywhere. To me, yeah. it would just be a giant dust collector. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what's the farthest move you've done? You said you do cross country. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, we try and stay. As far as price-wise, we're real competitive local-wise. Anything going interstate, we're going to be a little bit higher than some of the other companies because we're not a van line. So, like for a van lines, they may pick your stuff up on say you're going to Phoenix. Else they may pick it. your stuff up on Monday. They may make four or five stops, Nashville, 
Little Rock, Memphis, Dallas before they get you out to Phoenix. So you may not get your stuff for a couple weeks. With us, we're expedited. So we're going to pick you up on Monday. We're leaving Tuesday heading out to the drop off. So some customers need that. So with us coming back empty, we charge a little bit more for interstate, but I always up front with our customers and tell them that. Anything with just a couple of states within around us, we're pretty competitive. So, but as far as to answer your question, I mean, we've been to Connecticut, Boston, we've been to New York, Florida, um, we've been out to Texas. I did a move out towards Montana uh, a year or so ago. We got into wow, Montana. That's, that. a, that's, that's a move. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so, I've been watching Big Sky. I'm sort of addicted to that. Yeah, yeah. It's so, a little scary, Montana. Yeah. I've been to Phoenix. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I know um, it's frustrating to some people who move in car- cross country mm-hmm. because they are usually one of five people in that semi truck. Mm-hmm. But you guys do have to come back empty. Yeah. So they have to pay for that trip back too, essentially. Right. Right. But well, they get their stuff quicker. Makes it easier to schedule <laughs> both the delivery but also pickup because typically for pickup for those big those big liners, aren't they wanting to pick it up in a certain order so the truck is loaded in a certain order? And yeah, they typically, on average, usually give you a one or two day pickup notice. But delivery, it could be two, three. Yeah. A smaller job could be four weeks. Yeah, so, it's they're crazy. Trying to stuff up. And once you start on there, you never know what the cust- next customer's going to have, whether they're going to have more or less. You don't know whose stuff your the truck's on. If it's getting offloaded multiple times before they gets to you, mm-hmm. uh, bed bugs, other stuff could be. Well, as you say, there's more risk of that, or <laughs> more, more risk, risk of damage as well. More right? risk of damage, more risk of losing stuff, missing stuff. So. And if you're being being re- relocated, easy for me to say. If you're being relocated into town and your employer is paying for your moving expenses, if you're being relocated out, you would be a good option. Yeah. Because they'd get it paid for. Right. And they'd have the better. The better service, service. And the quicker service, too. Right, right. So. so what's the typical process looking like? If we're, like, say we're packing up a three-bedroom home, what what can people expect? Like, what, what services do you provide, and and how long does that typically take for you to move someone? Well, it just depends. I mean, we offer packing services, so a lot of customers wants to come in and actually pack everything up. Uh, mostly it's the dishes, the fine china, the stuff that's going to break. The books, the clothes, and stuff like that, a lot of customers pack up themselves. But on average, we'll pick up, or I guess the regular schedule is you'll pack one day, depending on how much stuff, and then we'll move the next. So we can even unpack if needed. Um, and we used to do that on an hourly basis after the fact. Okay, very and cool. The unpack's a little more basic. So, but I mean, we can, uh, whether it's packing, whether it's just moving some of the larger items, moving everything in the house, or if, for you guys, you, we can help stage. Well, we'll move the stuff to stage with that. I know they used to call it declutter, which is an ugly word. So, But if they need us just to go out and move stuff around the house to the garage or to storage, we can help do that as well to get it set up. To set so up. Now, do you have on-site <coughs> storage? We, we're full up where we are currently, but I do have other options that we can use. Okay. So, and I can always, if it's something that they don't want us to do, I can always make recommendations to different uh, mobile storage or storage units in town, depending on where they're moving to, that we've mm-hmm. dealt with that we know is clean and, and nice and fairly affordable. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else that someone should know when <coughs> scheduling a move or thinking about scheduling a move? Ask questions. Ask questions. If they get a hold of someone who's giving them a quote and they're not asking them questions, then they probably should move on. I mean, so. I learned something that you guys do unpacking, which mm-hmm. is huge oh. because I think it took me eight months to unpack once we moved into our last house. I mean, I know you're not going to put everything in the perfect spot, but I mean, I just had boxes sitting and sitting and sitting. It took forever to get through everything. Yeah. And to have that service, that would have, you know, turned it into a one-month job for my wife and me, probably. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of I had huge. one box for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> I just refused to unpack it. <laughs> we've, we've had clients, and this is no joke, that have moved at least three times or been helped coordinate, and they've, we've moved the same boxes from one basement <laughs> to the other to the other. They've never been opened. So, I mean, it happens. The more area you have in the home, a lot of times that's where more storage and stuff goes to. Yeah. yeah. And it's so. usually stuff you don't need anyways. Right. Right. With me, my collections have collections, yeah. so yeah. it's a little difficult. So. Moving is not my fun thought. <laughs> I mean, it's one of the most stress, one of the three most stressful things in life: death, divorce, and moving. We realize that, mm-hmm. so we roll out taxes. a carpet. <laughs> well, okay, okay, okay. but you don't have to pay taxes. The other three you do at some point. So, but usually, divorce means you're moving, and sometimes death means you're moving too. So sometimes you got to deal with two out of three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we do a lot with senior retirement homes. Okay. moving people in so yeah. we're moving them into one level and then later moving them in, into another level and then eventually moving them out well that's nice so, though, I know, except for that last part right. but 
it's good that you can move them from like their current home into the facility, which I didn't even think about that. Right. So right. we've got some that's partners. something I didn't even consider. Yeah, we've got some partners you work with also to help get rid of some of that stuff, whether it's um, disposal fee or recommending other companies that can help sell the stuff or get rid of the form. Okay. So, okay. Uh, Anything else, anyone? I mean, hey, we, we've we've moved some of the biggest stars. Kane Brown, we've moved Laney Wilson, we just did Nico Moon. We did, <laughs> Thank uh, you for the name drops. I mean, yeah, yes. This is the interesting stuff. Well, this Everyone is the interesting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. If you go back and check out our website and see some different things, Ernest left us a good review. Laney, Laney Wilson did one. I don't know if you guys know who Laney Wilson is. She's got the bell bottoms. Mm -hmm. So we've okay. got a marketing gal at uh, Marketing Lady. <clears throat> Does a great job in Nashville for us. That came up with the idea before we moved her to go out and buy red bell bottoms for the guys. Now, typically we wear black oh, pants or black funny. shorts. They show up at her job. She's taping it. Didn't realize we were coming walking around in these red bell bottoms. She got a big kick out of it. <laughs> so we've done a few of those guys. We did uh, Walker Hayes, okay. fancy like, yep. here a couple weeks ago. We, he did a commercial. Him and his family did a commercial with their guys. Oh, wow. That's so, really cool. Yeah. So, But we also moved the average. You need to bring these people to our events. Well, well we, Gary's, we're going to be doing an <laughs> event here in the fall. Gary's going to be coming in. We What we call is our Black Time Moving Country Concert. Okay. It's free to all of our real estate partners and any of our previously used customers. We've done a couple of times pre-COVID uh, where he comes in. We bring a couple other country groups. They sing, they perform, oh, yeah. and then Gary I comes in I remember you doing that before, but I wasn't able to go because yeah. it was so. past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember that. That's right. Right. The, the sun deal. moves behind a cloud and it's your bedtime, <laughs> Shannon. So, no. Now my husband's trying to convince me that I have to go to bed when the sun goes down, and I'm against that now because now the sun stays up longer. Yeah. But we've been, been lucky and blessed. I mean, we've moved Urban Meyer, Ryan Day, uh, a handful of the Blue Jacket players. we got um, Cincinnati Red starting baseman. We're moving here at the end of the month. But, you know, what we're all about is the red carpet white glove service for all of our clients, not just those stars or – uh, ball players or whatever it is, we want everyone getting that same type of service. But it says a lot that the celebrities trust yeah. you to do their moving. Yeah. So, I mean, I've known people who have had major complaints from other moving companies when they've, like, relocated here from California, stuff mm -hmm. like that. They've had some damage done to their belongings. So, right. I think it says a lot that you have those kind of reviews on your site, too. Right, right. I mean, we're human. Even my good guys have bad days. But we're trying to set ourselves apart. It was if something does happen, we want to make it right. So. Again, you should look into that hiring policy, though. Yeah. The hunky motor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you apply or what? <laughs> you know, I think I think I've had too many donuts this winter season to apply. I'm sorry. <laughs> That'll work them off. <laughs> this is true. You work them off. I do make him lift stuff around here and put stuff together. So, but all right. Well, thank you for joining mm -hmm. us, Chris. And uh, again, I'm Shannon Grimm with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. And follow us on social media at Shannon Grimm Realtor. Thank you.